Hi there folks, welcome to Pain the Life Gaming, I'm your host Cody, and today we are getting into Dead Space 2. I am not gonna have, or I'm gonna try not to have some crazy um, lag between Dead Space 1 and 2, and I'm gonna try and get through this um, in as few recording sessions as possible, as quick, closely together as possible, unlike Dead Space 1 where there was uh, four or five months between two different recording sessions like segments um so yeah <laughs> now this is personally my favorite dead space game however i've not played it in a long long time in a long long time i would say probably at least at least five years probably more but i don't know anyway so we are going to get into dead space one um, just so you kind of remember where we picked up from Dead Space 2, or Dead Space 1. What the fuck did I just say? I don't know. Um, so you remember where we just, uh, left off. Not that there's going to be a lot of space in between this and the last episode of Dead Space 1. Um, Isaac... <sighs> Isaac went on a ship. Ship had lots of baddies. Um, there was a structure type thing called a marker that was making the baddies um we brought the marker back down to the planet where they found it uh and then we dropped part of the planet onto the planet uh avengers style like sokovia style um and yeah that's kind of well and then we flew off in a spaceship and we were like oh man that was rough. Oh, our girlfriend was dead the whole time. We thought she wasn't. The The marker drove us crazy. Um, so we're flying away and we're like, ah, oh, that sucks. And then uh, a hallucination. It was a hallucination of our uh, dead girlfriend. I guess ex-girlfriend now. Um, <laughs> attacked us because, you know, we're crazy. And that's kind of that's kind of all you know going into this game. Now, obviously, I know more because I played completed this game and I've seen the movies and all that uh, by the way there is a movie leading up to this game uh, I want to say it's aftermath there's downfall and aftermath so yeah aftermath um, kind of explain the backs explaining the backstory of a few different events that happened before this and one particular character that we're going to meet in here but I will get into that a little later let's get into the game. I have not played this on this PC. I have not played this on PC at all. So, I will not know this game nearly as well as I knew Dead Space 1, but I am excited to get into it. We are going to be playing on normal. Here we go. Nicole Brennan was our, our girlfriend, by the way. It said uh, something about Nicole Brennan. Uh, flashing lights warning, even though it's kind of already happening. And uh, trigger warning, if you are uh, not good with violence and death, then don't watch this. Just letting you know. It's a disturbing game. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, no, I'll play back okay. later. It's okay. <clears throat> How you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Angel, while it lasts, you know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac, thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. Ooh. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far because you made me stick with it. That's rough. I'll just remember I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting an arranged thing tonight. Isaac? Isaac, can you hear me? I'm gonna call you back as soon as I can, okay? Isaac! Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. Huh. Kind of move the camera around. I loved you. I always loved you. Is, there a little yes. is she more on the desk there? Nicole Brennan. 
She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? This looks like fun. All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> Fucking yikes, dude. Franco? Franco, what happened? Isaac, fucking run, mate. Isaac! Isaac Clark, if you can hear me, run! Run! No, I'm trying. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, you cut me through. Ah. Yikes. Yikes, 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 hello, goodbye. Oh, Jesus. Welcome to Dead Space 2. Massive, um, graphical upgrade. As you can see, the lighting in this game is phenomenal. It looks a little bit choppy. Hopefully that'll go away with time, as will my cursor, thanks. I don't think there's a message in the chapter names, but I'll have to look into that later. Jesus. I would argue that was deserved. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. This is Director Tideman to all project personnel. I want the key subjects terminated and the facility scrubbed. This is not a drill. Tideman out. So the last game showed a lot of the uh, craziness of the Church of Unitology. This game shows a lot of the uh, corrupt and craziness of Earthgut. It's looking much better today, yes, don't you think? It hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, no, no I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't... There. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. Huh? It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. 
can't remember what he looks like, but I can't remember. <laughs> the symbol, Strauss. What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Let me turn the audio down a little bit, uh, just so you can hear me a little better over everything. I'm gonna turn everything down to 70. Um, so Strauss there is part of the Aftermath movie, and basically he, I don't know how to describe it, the, the marker embedded in him a lot of knowledge. Um, not quite what it did with me. Uh, he's more of a, of a scientist type, and I'm obviously more of an engineer, fix things type. Um, but very similarly, he wasn't quite as uh, affected as some people are. You know, he was able to withstand it to some degree. So, subject is Nolan Strauss. Oh, that's a little better. One, five, eight. <laughs> Oh, hey, bud. You're a fun person. Come on, man. Thank you for. I remember you. I said we. All the key subjects need to be eliminated, terminated. Which one more? Listen to me, man. What matters? Listen to me, matter. We can both get out of here. Just, just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Don't do it. There's no escaping from what I've done. Nope. Take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. The rig is red. It's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Thanks. Might turn things back up. Go ahead. 70% may have Take been a little it. low. I won't be needing it anymore. Mm, that's... B. Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Poor Isaac just doesn't end for him. Go back up to 80. Sorry. First time getting into a game, you know how it is. Oh, hello. Clark. Isaac Clark, is that you? Sure it is. My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Yeah, no, I, I I just did that. Just. That would have been scarier if I didn't watch it disappear. Well, this is... This is nice. Excuse me, pardon me coming through. Oh, I gotta go this way. My bad. Pardon me. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I think I can... It doesn't have the same weight that it used to, but eh, it's still good. Uh, 
Oh, I think I gotta fight someone in here. You're crazy. That's that's what the hell. Why was access granted? They consider me a crazy person. Also, why did that necro run away from me? Come on, come on. That's so good. Yeah, yeah, no, he already gave me that tutorial. Thank you. these are supposed to be, but they sure are handy. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. And I got it. Do surgical theaters creep anyone else out? Just the idea fucking creeps me out. Like, oh, let's all watch this person get cut on. I get that it's like a, you know, learn by observing thing, but still. Ooh, that felt good. Oh, nice. That's for. Can get us in here? Oh God, I'm all in here. No, no, you're fine. What the Calm fuck are you down. Doing? I'm fucking around, you know, getting loot and stuff. Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my God! Fuck! What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Excuse me while I, you know, do some engineering bullshit. Bye bye. Well, I'm gonna throw a leg at you. Well, nice. Change the controls a little. Just a little. Nice. Everyone's giving me goodies. Hi, 
Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I, I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I don't know. Yeah, okay. It didn't even give me like a chapter name there, just a chapter one. Hmm. So it wants me to go that way. Oh, good. Kid toys. I'd love that for me. Cheap. Really cheap. Also, my heart. Holy <laughs> shit. We've got a decent amount of ammo and another, you know, we got another health kit. Um, nope. There we go. Is it supposed to go that way? What's this way? More credits. Moolah. Moolah. Whoa, hello? Nice. Next, reload. How would I have made it this far without reloading? Great. Uh, patients are becoming agitated and combative with us as a result of the new regiments of memory erasing drugs. Uh, they no longer remember who we are from day to day and must be convinced to leave their cells each morning. Many are so frightened they require sedation to get to the interrogation chamber. Orderly Gustus was bitten three times by patient six, who now must be told who now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. Wow, that's fucked. Didn't work. 
York. There's a security lockdown. I told you to hurry. How'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long you last that. Is that a joke? Fucking Isaac Clark. I do need your help. No, I don't. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. No, we're Tartman's not. Tartman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another network get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! I heard a crash. I didn't see anything. Oh, power nodes are still part of this world. That's a little surprising. <clears throat> anxiety spike. Attention reception desk. Please refer all registrants complaining of anxiety or psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We're booked and running low on mood elevating medications. With the recent CEC layoffs and the increased tensions between Unitologists and EarthGov, I thought that was an I thought that was enough of a spike in cases. This new wave is something entirely different. Alright, how we do it? Oh, we're doing fantastic. Better by the second. Uh, I think I'll have three and just rotate. Just be safe. Or maybe I'll have ten million. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maintenance report, uh, Stasis Bed Blah replaced Tachyon unit, the Gauss emitter array, calibrated Heisenberg forks, induction coil still not firing in sequence, testing for shattered matrix, called in dispatch uh, to cancel next appointment, this may take all day. Okay, that meant fucking nothing, but thanks. Big words for the point of big words. Oh, that wasn't a, that was not good. Weak point that was not. Biggest issue I'm facing right now is the fact that the controls change. 
and I'm literally playing this the same day I ended one. Because, you know, I wanted to get a head start on things. Because occasionally I do try and be productive, and today's one of those days. Anyway. So the controls are still relatively fresh in my mind, and the controls are different here. Which isn't, uh, which isn't preferable. But it is what it is. Alright. What the fuck? Uh, excuse you? Oh. Hey. Um. You know, I don't think... I, I think we should see other people. Um. It, it's not you, it's me. Why that only pops one balloon? Oh. Fuck off. Who knows? But I do appreciate that it pops up. A balloon. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, sorry. Can I get an audio log? Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said this many times, I'll say it again. I don't like the security behind the new labs they've installed in the psych wing. It's been three years and we don't have the faintest clue what's going on. Such secrecy has no place in an open and free society. Oh, you're funny. Their networks are so isolated that we can't even tell they have one, let alone sift through it to see if there's anything unethical. To see if anything unethical is taking place right under our noses. It is. Uh, we... If we don't get some traction on this soon, I'm going to go to Tidemen and insist on a formal review of these policies. Brooks out. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of, uh, getting a lot of power notes. Nah, homie. Nah. Oh, jeez. Aim. Aim. Why? When your stasis is low. Okay. Well, my stasis isn't low. Damn it. Now my stasis is low. Ah. You almost got me. Power node, holy crap, dude. It's like candy here. Welcome to Microstore, CEC Engineer Isaac Clark. Updating so... inventory to CEC Engineering Loadout. Oh, that's my inventory. Safe. I don't think because I wasn't able to log into the EA servers, I don't think I get the free stuff. Do I get the free stuff? It's kinda hard to fucking tell. How would I know? How would I know if it's free or not? Or do I get all of this? Give me a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna look through this. Oh. Oh, I do just have all of this. Okay. I thought because I couldn't log in, maybe I didn't, but apparently I do just have all of this. <clears throat> Which is not exactly what you want. That being said, I mean, it's not my fault I have it. I know I could just not use it, but, uh... Why would I do that? Oh, I didn't mean to... Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have, like, a little fashion show here. This is, this is gonna take me a minute to get through all of this, but I, I guess I'll, I'll show the, sh the suit. I don't even know what suit I accidentally picked. I'm just kind of... Ooh. Okay. Desert camo. 
desert digital camo. Alright, that does look pretty cool. Not even gonna lie. However, this is not what we're gonna be wearing. Alright, I think this is gonna be the one. It doesn't look the coolest IMO. Not a huge fan of the, uh... I'm honestly not a huge fan of the desert camo. But... It has the best bonuses? Yeah, unless I really want, like, stasis. Which, I mean, stasis could be cool. A stasis bonus could be cool. Or I want, um... Med pack bonus, which is actually pretty strong, but meh. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I got, which I think gives me a 10% bonus to uh, detonator and line gun uh, damage, which I am going to be using the forge plasma cutter. For those of you who are like, ah, you're cheating because you're using the DLC stuff, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using the floor, the Forge Plasma Cutter, which is additional damage, uh, minus 5% reload. The EarthGov Pulse Rifle, which is, again, additional damage, minus reload. EarthGov Detonator, damage, plus speed, which is cool. And the Javelin Gun, which is plus 10 damage, minus 5% reload. I am also going to move a few of these out of my inventory, along with a stack of that. So yeah, this is what we're going to be rocking for a little bit here. Can I change what's applied to what? Uh, let's... Ooh. Um, actually... Yeah, so I think that's going to be how we do things for a little bit here. Another power node, holy shit. Five power nodes right off the cuff. That's insane. Yep, there it is. I knew he was coming. Oh my god, so easy. Oh, out of it, or ran out of ammo. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, 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 Jesus! Okay, the tram station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on. I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. What? Someone found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyvon tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. Well, you said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. Hello? There we go. I forgot I didn't have ammo for any of my other ghosts. Because I'm really not supposed to have them yet. Oopsies. Oh, this looks like fun. This looks like a fun place. It wants me to go that way. But I want to see all the fun blood and stuff. Okay. All right. I mean, I got a thousand credits for being curious. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. 
Thanks for just letting me in. Big breach. So, not to shit on this game, because I do like this game a lot. But right off the cuff, you can tell there's a very different uh, feeling and atmosphere. I feel a lot less vulnerable than I did in the first game. Holy shit, an audio log. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Cut off their limbs. It's the only way they go down. It's their limbs. That's the secret. Comms are down. We can't get a broadcast. Tell everyone you see. Why are comms down? Ah, new things. Yes. Big, big air quotes here. New. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Can't buy, can't buy nodes just yet. Oh, but I can sell this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move another stack of that and move one of those. I think three stacks is the most of any one type of ammo that we should be carrying on us at any one point in time. Let's look at our inventory. Yeah, we're looking good. I feel a little cheeky for having just gotten all this stuff right off the cuff, but um, don't care. <laughs> don't care. Wait, damage. Damage of telekinetic implant by 50%. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, more damage on this would be really good. What's that? Sets the target on fire when shot. That's awesome. Oh, I might have to make my way towards that. Is there another special thing here? No, there's not. Okay. What about you? Yes, there is. Adds an explosive effect to your ult. That's cool. And what about you? Increases the splash damage of the mines. That's pretty good. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get an HP upgrade. I feel like an air upgrade off the cuff would be a good idea, but we're gonna hold off. This looks very reminiscent of... Actually, it's almost exactly the same as the first uh, game's uh, layout for the plasma cutter. I really don't know when to call each episode. Because I don't think there's going to be the same light. Oh, yeah. You just dead? Okay. So I'll stay away from that. Attention. This is Director Titan. A stationwide emergency is announced. In accordance with Titan Station Civic Code, I am declaring martial law. All citizens are ordered to evacuate. Looters will be shot on sight. This is not a drill. Move immediately to the nearest evac route. Alrighty then. Hey, a door. Cool. I don't know, door. Or a broom closet? Titan Station Quarterly Economic Report. Why is this in this broom closet? Titan Station unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5% due to collateral job losses ooh, ooh, from the ongoing collapse of local planet crack in business. The aftermath of Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet cracking activity as more and more support services go out of business, leaving less and less capacity for planet cracking. However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit, buoyed solely by the cash influx from EarthGov's scientific research and operations facilities. Human Needs and Service organization, Services Organization has been spared the brunt of the planet crack planet cracking collapse by the pickup in traffic with, gover with government sector. 
Planet Cracker docks, ship services, mining supplies, and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facility in the R&D department of the government. Mm. Lovely. Ruby Semiconductor, I don't remember. Schematic for a power node? Oh, yep, that's pretty goddamn good. I think Ruby sem Semiconductor is 10, and... Actually, I'm gonna run back real quick. To drop that off. Because, uh... It's taking up the space in my inventory. Yep, 10k. Sell, yes I'm sure. We're gonna new move another stack of that. And these are 10k, so yeah, that was uh, for sure, for sure worth it. I could get another... I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. We'll, we'll look at it at the next store. I wonder if we're still in chapter one. This is Director Tideman. A stationwide emergency is in effect. On that side? Uh oh, we are in chapter two. Okay. So now that we've been see, there was no there was no indication that we're in chapter two. How was I supposed to know? But also, we've been going for like an hour now, so I feel like that's a good spot to end this first uh, episode of Dead Space 2. Um, I had a lot of fun playing. This is, I mean, I'm still enjoying it. It's a little cheeky with all the the free DLC. I mean, you know, how, how am I going to complain about free DLC? Um, but yes, I'm going to be a little cheeky with this one. Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna pick it up next time, and we're gonna get through this game. And I'm excited. I'm actually excited to play this one. The last one was a bit of a slog. Um, not that it was bad or anything, because it was actually really good. But it was a little hard to get through just because it was so stressful. This one is less stressful, which I guess isn't a good thing for a horror game. But it's a lot easier to play thus far. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content just like it. But I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye!